This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The recount for the Moses Lake School District construction bond is scheduled to start Thursday morning. The Moses Lake Public Library Foundation is hosting its second annual Bagels for Books fundraiser on March 18th. A homeless man in Oregon came to the rescue to protect a disabled man getting assaulted. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. The recount for the Moses Lake School District construction bond is scheduled to start Thursday morning. The Grant County Canvassing Board will begin hand-counting ballots at 9 a.m. in the Commissioner's Hearing Room at the Grant County Courthouse. The public can observe the recount process, but space is limited in the hearing room. Election Department officials did not have an estimate for when the recount of more than 9,400 ballots would be completed. A group of six registered voters requested a recount for the $135.3 million construction bond approved by voters by a 0.03% margin in the February special election. The group requested a manual recount at $0.25 per ballot, costing about $2,300. If the outcome of the election is reversed, the county is required to reimburse the group the cost of the recount. School District Assistant Superintendent Joshua Meek said while the election is close, he has no reason to believe the recount will produce any other results. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. The Moses Lake Public Library Foundation is hosting its second annual Bagels for Books fundraiser on March 18th. The event runs from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Frontier Middle School Cafeteria located at 517 West 3rd Avenue. Tickets are $10 per person and includes bagels, cream cheese, fruit, juice, and coffee. According to organizers, residents will be able to meet with local authors, hear a performance from the Voices of a New Day Choir, and meet Moses Lake's own Mrs. America 2017 Natalie Lutmer. Funds raised from the event go toward completing the installation of new shelving in the children's section of the Moses Lake Public Library. The new interchangeable shelves allow the library to better use its limited space. Tickets for the fundraiser can be purchased from any foundation member at the door or online at mlplf.org. This is Joe Wetter for iFiber One News. Saw somebody that's in, you know, worse off than I am, getting beaten from two different guys. <sighs> you couldn't let that happen. Bradley Bergman was on the bus pulling into the EMX stop on Mohawk and Main Street in Springfield on Friday night when he saw two men beating up a man lying on the floor. Uh, the driver uh, got up and went to the door and started screaming that there was somebody to help the guy, that he was disabled. and. She knew he was disabled. Bergman says he quickly jumped into action. Told the guy that, you know, he's, you know, he's disabled. He's, you know, you're not, you know, this is not right. And he was trying to say that the guy had stole from him and that's why they were beating him up and taking his stuff. Bergman served as a wall between the disabled man and the attackers, but one of the attackers turned on him, punching him in the face and knocking him down. He hit real hard. Um, I just remember going down and then shaking, getting blood out of my eyes. He was punched a few more times, the attacker also hitting him in the face with his keys. Bergman says he tried to fight back, but the men eventually ran away. But despite the pain, Bergman said his actions were worth it. They turned off of both the people that were in danger at the time and concentrated on me. But he says the most heartbreaking part, more people were standing and watching rather than helping. But the same people that are all sitting there videotaping this stuff would want somebody to come help them. You know, what if that was their uncle or brother or sister? And now he's speaking out, trying to inspire others to help someone in need just like he did. There's right and there's wrong. It's just as simple as that. From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey taking a look at the basin's forecast. Partly cloudy skies and mid-40s for your Monday, the overnight lows are still going to be chilly in the upper 20s to low 30s. Rain on Tuesday, low 40s. Partly cloudy skies on Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 40s. 
More of the same Friday. As we move into the weekend, the chance of rain increases and will be in the mid-40s and low-30s during the overnight. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.